Once a friend of mine offered to buy hidden cameras from him. They were made in the shape of a screw cap, had small batteries, and transmitted video over Wi-Fi. I, not thinking long, agreed, and the price is cheap enough. In short, the deal was made. I couldn't find a use for them for a long time and forgot about them. Until I came across a hidden camera video on the internet, where the son was watching his mother, I had a similar thought. I really want my mother-in-law. She is very beautiful, keeps herself in shape, but lonely. With her father-in-law they separated a long time ago. I decided to take action. We all live together in a private house, and there is a lot of space where to put the camera. After much deliberation, I put one camera in the bathroom and the second in her bedroom, thinking to myself that in any case she will get caught, as they say the bait is thrown, it was only necessary to hook. Several days passed, and there was no result, until one day my brother with his wife and daughter came to us. My brother was younger than me, his wife was another two years younger, and his niece was at that age quite little. My brother and I wanted to go to the bathhouse, so I started carrying wood from the barn. It was at the back of the property, and the bathhouse was next to it. I was suddenly reminded of my mother-in-law, and from these thoughts, and the fishing rod cameras I had set up, I got a hard on. I went into the shed, took out my device, and started playing with it. I heard the crunch of a branch, stopped, looked around, there was no one, and continued further. But not for long. Heated the bath, I went into the house to prepare a towel and a beer. Just then I got a message from the bathroom camera. I open the app and see the following scene. My niece walks over to the sink and does her business. I stood there, so that's who was watching me, I thought. So I've got the right position for the camera, and I can't see the camera. Even if it sits on the floor, it'll still be visible, so there's no way. I went into the house, called my brother, and we went for a steam bath. After the bath, coming home, I went to bed, but what I saw did not give me peace. I turned to my wife. The next morning I was awakened by a message from my mother-in-law's bedroom. Taking my phone, I went to the closet. Surely I won't disturb anyone there and no one will see me, I thought. Once in the closet, I opened the app. There I found my mother-in-law in all her glory doing her thing. Oh, what a woman she is, I thought. She looks after herself, keeps herself in good shape. But who is it all for? It got weird and confusing. Now it's double catch fishing, I thought. Now under such circumstances, mother-in-law will not turn away. I can throw it all on social network. It remains only to choose the moment, but it's a matter of time. At breakfast, we were all talking merrily, and I kept catching the stares of my mother-in-law and niece. And then it dawned on me that maybe it wasn't my niece who was watching me, but my mother-in-law. Then why the niece was looking at me like that. After breakfast, I went to clean the bathhouse. On the way, my mother-in-law called me and asked me to help her. I agreed, and I think, this is the moment. We went into the bathhouse. I'm in the steam room cleaning. She is in the restroom. Calls. I go into the room. She is sitting on the couch. Says, what did you do yesterday in the shed? I replied, peaking is not good, and then I want a very long time, I decided to say. Mother-in-law said, we went out for a walk with my granddaughter. She ran away from me and hid near the shed like hide-and-seek. I went to look for her. I saw her standing near the barn and looking not at me, but somewhere in another direction. I sneak up on her, and I see she's watching you. You better be careful while she's here. I'll do it. I've seen you more than once. Isn't your wife enough for you? Why are you doing this? Thank you for your kind words and your love, but don't do this. I sat down next to her and said, I can't take it anymore. Do whatever you want. I even started watching you, and this morning you played really well. My mother-in-law didn't get confused. You're a fool. She grabbed me by the neck and kissed me, and reached for my shorts with her other hand. I don't remember how much time passed. We were lying there. The floorboards creaked. I turned around. No one was there. The mother-in-law smiled. It must be the granddaughter spying. I got up to look, but saw the granddaughter already running down the path home. Do you know what I saw yesterday after you saw me? No. I guess she won't tell on us. I have a video of her. The mother-in-law marveled. You have a video of me too.